it's so interchangeable. People go, oh, CBD, oh, marijuana, medical cannabis. Da, da, da. They just go, oh, when they sort it out. They're, they're resigned to letting the same cabal of motherfuckers that have destroyed our culture kept us under the boot for 70, or 80 odd years, wherever we're approaching at this point, from being able to just have these conversations. And now the time is there. They're censoring us out of them. They're removing us from it. Like I said, they're making us feel insane. And they come in in their business suit with all their money and all their clout and all their mates from school. They're like, oh, we can do this. Yes, logistics license. I know someone at the home office. I'll bring the FSA now. I'll... And it's like, you have all of that, but you haven't been in the trenches. You didn't fight the war. You haven't been scared of your door going off because of the plans you need to keep yourself going. You don't know what it is to be sat around sharing a joint with a bunch of people and somebody called Roach Rights. You know what I mean? You don't know our culture. You don't know fucking 420 and come along to it and pretend, but you don't know the struggle. You don't get to, I'm getting fired up, sorry, but you don't get to be that person. We need you, but fuck me, you need us more. Because all you're doing is pissing your billions into the wind right now of R&D and trying to get to, oh, well, yeah, well, cannabis will be freely available, just not from the plant. Oh, like, cannabis won't be available, mate. It'll be cannabinoids. Uh, that's what I mean. Cannabinoids, not yeah. cannabis. Yeah, and I feel that's the end goal is that as long as they can make sure I will be targeted for having plants in the house, no matter how medical it gets, no matter how legitimate, no matter how available and abundant it is on the high street, no matter how represented it is in culture, they'll still want to be able to target me for being self-sufficient. And that to me speaks to the two of, no matter how good they try and make that industry, it's predicated on the wrong direction. You liberate us first, then you build an industry. And most of us don't want to be part of your industry, so we'll leave you alone. But if you try and build this on us while we're still active, we're going to tear down the foundations of this bitch. You got to breathe? I'm breathing. I'm cool. We're fine. I'm sorry. I see. I've been up for two weeks. This is what happens. I don't talk for two weeks. And I'm like, ah, let's burn it down. No, we're cool. I, I've got my rant out. That was quite concise. No, 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 no. no. I, I, you know, you know, uh, you, you, your rants have merits as well, as always, sir. I mean, you, you know, you did kind of uh, educate me a little bit there. What's what's this roach rights thing? Oh, roach. <laughs> so I was northern is quite impoverished. You know, we went through a period of austerity, especially where things got a bit. Brutal. So four or five dudes in a room. Only one guy's got maybe a bit of what we used to call tack. You know, Swifty seven fifty bit of tack. Someone, well, we're going to bill up, all right? Someone's got tab rights they put in the cigarette. If you haven't got your skins or roach or whatever, you're asking someone, and they're like, oh, I've got a skin, and they've got skin rights. Somebody then goes, oh, I've got the roach, I've got roach, and it just it sets the order of the hierarchy of who gets past the joint. In good times, you pass to the left. Everybody rolls up as much as they can, and everyone just smokes. But in bad times, the homies get together still, and you craft it. And whoever's got the most puts the, the starts it, the others put in, and that's the hierarchy. So generally, skin beats roach. I don't know why. It just seems to be that way. I think because you can roach anything, really. But if yeah. you're a premium roach, then you're up there. Some people even call grinder rights, but I would always be like, that's just disrespectful because I could break that up on my hands sort of thing. It's like that's lower down the hierarchy. This is different in different regions. But this is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm saying about the culture. It's a rich fucking tapestry of heritage. I've spent decades living, and they just want to come along and go, no, it's this, slap a leaf on it, and be on the high street. It's... It, it, I just want to see parlay between all of us to come together against this this small cabal you speak of because it's the same group of motherfuckers that have fucked everything for over a century. Arguably in this country, a thousand fucking years. They're all Normans. That's getting really fucking into local bigotry. Did they have roach rights back in the day? I don't know. Maybe. So you see, the only right that I feel that, 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 that I, has, has been in in my journeys is is the right for anyone to get dissed if they pull out a rolling mat. Well, I, yeah, I I have a I have a close friend who's still the rolling. I think you know who we probably think of the same. But and I do, I'll still joke no matter. But it, uh, it's difficult because yeah, there is obviously the hierarchy within our own little community, and I suppose it's it's just a friend. You wouldn't walk across a cannabis event to go and berate somebody for using a fucking cannabis uh, for using a mat. And I guess it's, I, it's, I might it's, might walk by and kind of give them a a, a, a critical a disapproval. Look. Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, no. but yeah, but again, this is done in in the sense of development and growth. So. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the the, the story uh, that I saw not that long ago, and there was a it was thinking of thinking a lad Bible or something. I still get fed that shit on Facebook, fucking suggested because Facebook is now fully just seven ads, one post, seven ads, one post. I'm not going to rant about Facebook because they did just fucking destroy the Durham Club page the other day. Um, 
I'm getting way off track. Where am I going with this? Uh, I was on my... We started with ro- uh, rolling mat rights. Oh, yeah. So um, it's no, I saw, saw this story of a, a guy who literally went and lost fucking like seven stone. And it was his mate sent him, you fat bastard, every day for like two months. It was just texting him. But he was his best friend. Granted, it wasn't like so he wasn't bullying and berating him. But it was kind of like an agreed thing of like a motivator. And that's how it chose to work. And the guy... It helped him motivate. You, do you know what I mean? It's we jive each other in the way that we want to protect each other. We want to bring each other up, and men especially do that, especially from impoverished areas or lower class, and in the sense of their economic class rather than their the societal class, if that makes sense. Um, we'll do. You know, we'll we'll jibe at each other in that way. But it's meant lovingly. It's meant to not bring you up. Yeah, you're you're still using your mat. Means put put a couple of hours in, figure it out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it depends if that person then resides themselves to being, well, I choose to do it this way. I'm getting more accepting as I get older. I'm I'm still, you know, a bit of a diehard, let's fuck shit up, but eh, you do you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, you, you, it's, it's easy to outgrow a, a, a rolling mat as well. You know, if you're mm. using two king skins uh, to, to, to make a dupe, I, I haven't seen rolling mats that big. Um, I, I suppose in that sense, you, you would just, <laughs> I'm just in my head there, you know, those old bamboo like pull up curtains that you get oh, that yeah. would roll up. <laughs> it's just literally someone going, ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do. seven kicks, <laughs> right, off you go. <laughs> uh, oh, it's just giving me some nostalgia of rips, of like three of us trying to roll a joint with rips. Like one, oh. th- a single fit thick rip, but like two, two hands, two hands, and be like, no, oh, oh, no, took it. Then somebody like running in between and, Ah, I had yes. an identical experience in Germany, mate. Uh, I do, you know, there's a couple of mates of mine, Torsten Hoffman and Mark on Decker. And um, yeah, it was basically that long. Tap down to literally the, the length of my forearm. And uh, it took us to, you know, but it got so heavy. I thought I probably wouldn't smoke weed past that point. 